Hi, I'm David McCree, beaches expert for visitflorida.com, and we're about to take what I expect to be one of the best adventure trips you can take in Florida. This is my first trip to the Dry Tortugas National Park, and I am really excited about it. We're starting out here at the Land's End Marina in Key West, and we're about to board the Yankee Freedom High Speed Ferry that's going to whisk us 70 miles across open water in about two and a half hours. We're going to arrive at Garden Key, which is one of the islands that makes up the Dry Tortugas National Park. We're also going to take a tour of the historic Fort Jefferson. So let's board the boat and get going. Well, we're on the, uh, the bridge of the Yankee Freedom 2 on our way to the Grand Tortugas National Park. And uh, we're going to talk to the captain for just a minute and learn a little bit about the boat. The boat is a high-speed catamaran ferry, passenger ferry and it was designed by a company by the name of NCAT in Australia but it was built in Somerset, Massachusetts and she just turned 10 years old a couple months ago. You come out on our boat, we'll get here about 10.30 in the morning. Uh, you can immediately go in the water, this is your day, you know, go snorkeling, the water is gorgeous out here. Uh, we offer a tour, uh, normally takes about 45 minutes, you learn a lot about why Fort Jefferson's out here. It's just filled with history and filled with a lot of natural things for you to do if you're into that. The water is colors that you can't even find on a painter's palette. It's a hidden treasure, it's not very well known and therefore it's well preserved. So um, when you come here, you'll always find it like it was left, which is one of the most beautiful things about it. It's wonderful. It's beautiful. It's, um, it's really neat to see a fort way out here in the water like this. Being from Key West, it's pretty there too, but it's spectacular here. So what should you bring with you to the Dry Tortugas National Park? Well, my recommendation is that you treat it just like any other beach trip, except pack light. You don't want to be lugging a bunch of heavy gear around out here if you can help it. Most importantly, sun protection. You want some good sunblock, you want to wear a nice uh, hat to shade yourself from the sun, a pair of dark glasses, and bring some clothes that you can cover up uh, from the sun with because there's very little shade out here. Uh, you want to make sure that you bring a beach towel and bring a dry change of clothes so after you go swimming you'll have some dry clothes to change into for on the way home. Come to the Dry Tortugas. <laughs> it's probably the best thing you can do while visiting the Florida Keys. If you're looking for a full day's adventure that includes white sand beaches, coral reefs, clear waters, tropical fish of all colors, and an incredible boat ride, you can have it all without leaving Florida. Just hop on the Yankee Freedom 2 or the Sunny Days Fast Cat, and you can have an incredible adventure just like we did today right here in the Dry Tortugas National Park. This is David McCree, beaches expert for visitflorida.com. I'll see you at the beach.